Good evening and welcome to In Focus tonight. I'm Kelly Swoop. A Maryland high school basketball player was barred from playing in a postseason game because she was wearing a hijab. The referee was following the rule book, headwear is not allowed. But as In Focus reporter Mallory Safaste tells us, the rule may exist, but the state doesn't agree that it should always be enforced. Kelly, the head coach, the player, and the parents never knew about the rule, and none of the referees in the other 24 games said anything about it, raising the question why it was enforced now. It's the fourth quarter, 30 seconds left in the regional championship game. 16-year-old Janan Hayes is on the bench waiting for her number to be called, but she never makes it out on the court. And then my coach had pulled me aside and she had said that um, she was sorry that I couldn't play, but there was a rule, um, a state rule saying that I have to have a letter from the state um, to play with my hijab on. The referee told coach Danita Adams that Janan would not be allowed to participate in this game, even though she played all season with no problem. Because we have never been informed of this rule. And um, for me personally, I didn't agree with what was going on. She played all 24 games, and then on the 25th game, she was unable to play. So I needed clarification on that. It's listed here in the National Federation of State High School Associations rule book. Head decorations and headwear are prohibited. However, state associations may make an exception for religious reasons if documented evidence is provided. The Maryland Public Secondary Schools Athletic Association sent us this statement that says in part, Unfortunately, the officials made a strict interpretation of the National Federation of State High Schools playing rules for basketball instead of the spirit of the rule designed to ensure safety and competitive fairness. There should have been no denial of participation. This is not the first time this has happened in Maryland. In Frederick County in 2011, another young teen was told she could not play because her hijab presented a safety risk. So there is obviously a disconnect um, between the governing bodies or the agencies who are providing these rules and the referees who are supposed to be enforcing them. The Council on American Islamic Relations said they've reached out to the national organization about changing the rule, but they're also working to educate local referees. So Kira is going to be working with the public secondary schools at the athletic association to provide diversity training to the contractors who provide referees so they're aware of the significance of the religious attire and why athletes should be able to play in team sports when having to forego wearing their religious attire. Janan said she was upset and angered that she couldn't play in the final game of the season, but that the incident won't keep her from trying out for the team next year. No, I think this is this is motivation. I feel it. I'm not discouraged whatsoever. Um, you know, since this has gone so far, I don't um, feel discouraged or angered. I just have, you know, that hunger to succeed and I'm, I want to take this far. Care said they could not find any evidence of injuries associated with a player wearing a headscarf. They also have not yet heard back from the National Federation about reworking the rule book. So, just so you know, this fight isn't just happening here in our state, all across the country, really all around the world. Bilkis Abdul Qadir is the all time leading scorer in Massachusetts history of high school basketball. In 2010, she became the first NCAA Division I player to wear a hijab on the court. But today, she is blocked from pursuing a professional basketball career due to an International Basketball Association rule that bans headscarves in international competition. Forced to sit out, she is now leading the fight for Muslim women's rights to play. Writing to FIBA, meeting with President Obama, teaching Muslim women to play, her fight may soon come to an end. A rule that has stood for 20 years for safety reasons may soon be changed. FIBA hopes to have approval for the rule change in May of this year.